Malpensa Airport. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Right here in Milan. It might have been the shortest airport announcement ever. That sunrise is really beautiful. It's obviously the first airport of the day. I'm gonna go check in. Now, within today's airports, I do have a favorite and a least favorite. This airport isn't really either. It's just a nice airport with cappuccino. I've been coming to Europe a lot for work lately and I've developed a tiny, tiny pet peeve with the European coins. I, I don't know how I can really show you this. You see this? The one cent euro coin? It doesn't make a coin sound when it drops. Here's a 20 euro coin. It sounds like a coin. Japanese 5 yen coin. Again, it sounds like a coin. But watch what happens when I get to the 1 cent and 2 cent euro coins. They just, they don't sound right. That's what coins should sound like. This? <laughs> what is that? That, that? That's it. It's one of my favorite little spots in the Milan airport and get pizza. Last meal in Italy pretty much has to be pizza, right? Mm. I'm not saying that we're ranking airports or giving them scores, but if we were, this one would probably get somewhere around a 9 out of 10. It actually has a lot going for it. Aside from being one of the cleaner and more beautiful airports that I've been to, it has a ton of shops, restaurants. Just by contrast, the airport in Rome has next to nothing. There are so few restaurants in that. So when I get to come through Milan, I'm always a little bit happier. <laughs> So we're in Moscow now, which out of all the airports I'm gonna be hitting in the next couple of hours might be in terms of airport, my least favorite, but there's only really one reason for that. And it's the security check is just insane. They don't really have like a line or anything you can get in, so it's total and utter chaos. But other than that, the Moscow airport seems pretty nice. They get bonus points for having a TGI Fridays. It's also worth mentioning that this airport doesn't really have easy access to Wi-Fi. And there was a woman in the men's washroom. And I'm starting to get the feeling that the Moscow airport is just somewhat chaotic by nature. But in case you've ever wondered, this is what Burger King looks like in Moscow. <laughs> feels appropriate that the Russian Burger King would have beer. All in all, if I had to give the airport here like a rating, I would probably give it somewhere around four to five, maybe six, just to be nice. I want to be nice. I feel like I'm being way too harsh on the Moscow airport. There are definitely worse airports. It's just out of all the ones that we're going to be hitting today, it's, it's probably not my favorite. Finally in Narita, which by the way is not a bad airport overall. It's got plenty of amenities, it's got Wi-Fi, but if you find yourself stuck at Terminal 3, which is usually for the discount airlines, it can be quite far to get back to the trains. I would probably give Narita about a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Bye bye. Bye bye. I now have to go from Narita Airport all the way to Haneda. There is a bus that connects the two airports for people in this situation. I think it's about 3,000 yen, around $30. If you come out of the arrivals gate in the international terminal in Narita, there's a pretty good chance that a TV show is gonna approach you. It 
happens to a lot of people. It's even happened to me. Also, for those who might be passing through, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can get into Tokyo. There's express trains that'll bring you into Tokyo, local trains that'll bring you in even cheaper but take a lot longer. There's buses, you can even hire car services. There used to be a helicopter. I never got to take the helicopter. So a little bit of a note on Haneda Airport. Terminal 1 is the really beautiful terminal. I'm in Terminal 2 right now. It's still really nice, but 1 has this giant, gorgeous wooden bridge, and uh, it's got all the shops and everything too, which kind of sucks because where I'm going is going to be pretty cold, and I was hoping to get some warmer clothes because I definitely didn't pack. <laughs> I will give them extra props for being amazingly professional and gentle with all my stuff. Last airport I'm going to is one I've never been to before called Asahikawa. It's up in northern Japan and that's where my next project's gonna start. It's exciting again to go somewhere that you've never been. here there should be staff to pick me up I don't think I'm actually gonna have a ton of time to check out or enjoy this airport it's definitely colder out here than it was in Milan and that, that that's five airports in a day for the next couple days I gotta be hanging out here in Hokkaido Japan enjoying the snow and, and watching people make snowmen